I'm John Nelson. Here are your top headlines. Women are now the fastest growing subgroup of U.S. veterans and VA medical centers nationwide are providing an integrative health model personalized for women, including holistic approaches to treatment like mental health therapies and coaching to traditional clinical care and peer support groups. One veteran who turned to these services, Crystal Duncan, after being honorably discharged for her major depressive disorder, the Air Force veteran says she experienced homelessness, substance use disorder, and suicide attempts. Now she says she owes her recovery to the Boise VA's whole health system, which gave her tools for healing physically, emotionally, and mentally. Well, it's just like using the military. We've got five branches and everybody always forgets the Coast Guard, but we couldn't get the job done if it wasn't for all five of these branches, you know? So the patient, uh, aligned care team here, you know, you've got each of these resources all tied together. And we're not going to get better unless we use all these together. Now a homeowner, Crystal is back on her own two feet and says her mind is still wandering sometimes to dark places, but that her treatment helped her recognize those thoughts and identify when and who to reach out to for help. Six on your size, Madeline White will have Crystal's full inspiring story tonight at 10. The Idaho National Guard trains on the Orchard Combat Training Center, but there's an interesting twist. It's the only training area in the U.S. that's inside a national conservation area, which also means the military and the public have to coexist. Beginning tonight at 10 and over the next three days, we will take you to live fire tank training and show you why the OCTC is a unique place to train. We will also look at the partnership between the Guard and several agencies, including the BLM, that makes it possible to train and preserve the OCTC at the same time. It's kind of a challenge to manage both the resources within the area, the military training component, as well as the public. Uh, we as the military can't uh, manage for the, the public access or the livestock component. We coordinate with BLM to do that. Um, however, we have to, in order for us to do our, our training mission out there, we have to make sure we reduce conflicts with public use out there to the extent possible. The Birds of Prey Conservation Area has the highest concentration of nesting raptors in the country. And tune in this week to see what other unique aspects are hiding in the OCTC. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Darkening skies over downtown Boise. The sun is shining on Boise itself, but the darkening skies are to the north and to the east and over Lucky Peak. There are storms in the Boise Mountains that are slowly drifting in the direction. They may weaken as they move in, but they may not. And if they don't, lightning could move into the Boise here. We've got lightning around Lucky Peak. Anybody around Lucky Peak needs to be taking cover and uh, staying inside vehicles or, or buildings until that storm passes. And there could be more. 75 in Boise, 81 in Ontario at 5 o'clock. Not bad for evening temperatures. Now, the Doppler radar in Boise is out for planned maintenance. There's a radar site right here, and it's not going to be working for three weeks. Your weather radar app may show some green, but this green you see here comes from the Pocatello Doppler radar, and it's looking up into the sky because as the beam goes out straight, the earth curves underneath of it. And so the further out it goes, the higher it's looking up, and so it's looking way up into the sky here. I'll have to figure out the exact number. I'll, I'll go in and take a look at how high up this, where this rain is. But it shows us, though, that there are storms there, but the not a full detail of what's going on. The cloud cover tells me there's a big old thunderstorm and we do get the lightning strikes and we're seeing them right here, right along Highway 21 coming right on down to Lucky Peak, over Lucky Peak now and Southeast Boise. Please take cover uh, because lightning is occurring and it could strengthen. It's tough. We've got to wait for this lightning to disappear before you really can resume normal activities. Uh, we see that cluster of lightning strikes just continuing for Southern Boise County, especially the Magic Valley has had some storm right over Twin Falls and numerous storms pushing into the Burley area with some very heavy rain. The forecast for tomorrow has an 80% chance of showers and storms, but this may be broken up. I think we'll get sunshine mixed in, but it will keep it cooler, though, with the chance for these storms. Temperatures then ramping up after some, maybe some showers in the morning Thursday. They'll go away, and then as we go into the weekend, a sunshine increases, and so does the temperature into the low 80s. By mid-next week, we could be mid to upper 80s, and could we see a 90 degree day next week? It is not out of the question. That's your very latest forecast. You can go to my Facebook page for updates or come back right here. I'll have another update later tonight.